What's up everybody? I'm planting the garden right now. I'm doing some of the work here. So here's what we currently have got and I'm going to show you what I'm currently planting right now. Right now I'm planting these sunflowers. Here they are. As you can see they're going to be this color and I'm going to show you what I do. So what I do is I take my finger and I poke it into the ground about one inch like that. I take out one of these seeds so I'm going to sprinkle like one or two on the ground right here. So worried about dropping all of them at this point. All right, here we go. I'm gonna take one out really quickly. So there's gonna be two per thing. So what I need is I would need two. So see them right there. So now what I'm gonna do is I just place them on the ground right there. They're they're easy to see. So I'm just gonna pop that right into the hole and just bury them. Then I'm gonna go about an inch or two away and I'm gonna dig another hole about an inch deep. I'm gonna pop this one in here like that. And there we go. And you cover them up and you repeat until you're out of seeds. I almost forgot, there's gonna be one that's gonna be like 12 feet tall, so this one's gonna be like four to six feet tall. I am doing a multitude of jobs in this garden, but I'm gonna show you how I take the tomatoes out and then transplant them over there. All right, so what we do in this right here is I squeeze the pot right here. Then I take it over here, right here, and I squeeze the pot in the other direction. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it upside down and hopefully it'll come out. I'm gonna do that down there because, well, I need two hands to do this. Here it is. Now I just put this in the fertilizer for like three to four minutes. Now we're just gonna repeat that process. Right, and here's the basil, and as you can see, there are some roots under that, but if there's a lot of roots, like in like the tomatoes, what you need to do is you need to rub your thumb against it to get the roots out. So what I did, obviously, is do this, and then this, and this also goes in the fertilizer for like two to four minutes. Next up, we're gonna use these. So if you haven't ever seen what what an irrigation pipe squirting looks like, this is what it looks like. Yeah, they're they're coming up and it's trying to hit the camera too. No one of these things. Out of the strawberries, Marin. There we go. Alright, so here's the last one. You're gonna see me do this, I guess. Alright, so one, two, three. Alright, now I'm gonna put this into my other hand. I'm gonna put the seeds right here. Hopefully I can get them all up later. Alright. Go one. Here's the other one, two, and then finally, this is the last seed I have to do. Three, ah, three, there we go. Now we just cover up each hole like that. And there we are. Now I just need to get these seeds before they start growing there. And I'll show you the garden in a minute. So this is what we currently have. So we have all the tomatoes in. Some of them have the ropes, some of them don't. We got um, fertilizer and yeah, just so you know, I said we had like a whole bunch of eggplants, you know the ones I said at the beginning of this video, if you ever watched it, I said they were eggplants with thick stems, but they're actually broccoli. I was doing broccoli this year. Ah! I literally just got a V-tail stuck in my hand. Alright, anyways, so what's gonna happen is, so what's gonna happen, I forgot what I was even gonna talk about. But yeah, the irrigation system is on in check. There is broccoli, they're, they're, they're picky. They're looking a little saggy today, but they do have their broccoli things on the top, and we have broccoli cages, which, well, these are DIY purpose things. So basically what you have, see this green thing over here? So one of these, we took the other one, turned it into a broccoli cage. So what happened was um, we built these to put our strawberries in. But at first what we did was we zip tied everything together with this green stuff. And we used it to keep the ducks outside before we built our chicken coop. And then what then we did was we turned it into strawberry cages. And recently we ripped off the green stuff and turned it into broccoli cages. And yes, this whole thing will have a covering to keep the birds and the other stuff out. Now one thing's for sure, we are growing potatoes and I haven't showed this on this channel yet. I forgot. Because I keep on forgetting to include this in my videos, but here is where we're growing potatoes. So we're doing them in bags since, well, if you try to plant them out in the garden, you know, you're gonna get some pretty bad results. I don't see any coming up yet, but they should be coming up soon. This is the only way you can plant potatoes without your garden being like completely annihilated, but it's the only way I can think of growing potatoes. Now there is still some more plants. Let me show you the broccoli. Since I haven't yet, let me show you. And yeah, we got some corn plants. I'll show you up there in a minute but here's a dead plant. Now I'm gonna example, 
I'm gonna show you like an exemplar of what I do when, uh, you know, like we, we transplant, so we do this. We squeeze it like this, like I showed you earlier in this video. Squeeze like this, and then you tip it over, put it in the fertilizer. Fertilizer being grass. There you go. I just annihilated yet another dead tomato. Here's the broccoli, just so you know. You can kind of tell because there's broccoli right up here. That is the broccoli indeed. And these are the cups that we have returned here. Now I'm going to show you the corn. And we're also going to be doing some pumpkins. Yeah, we have a trellis set up for that. And then we turned the trellis into the dog yard. For, so we need to get another trellis for the beans this year, but we're still doing green beans and stuff like that. We still need to plant more because like they're only good for like two, three, four harvests. But here we are. Somehow I'm gonna get out of poison ivy. <clears throat> All right. So here is poison ivy land. Not here, but over here. But, um, oh, a groundhog. What are you doing here? You get out of my property. Fuck off, man. They just ran off. Lesson of the day. Don't with animals. But here is the field that we are growing corn in. And yeah, I don't know why I found that there, but yeah. And here's the final result after all that work. Running in with the groundhog. And well, generally a long day. We have our first strawberries. Came up. There and the marin got in the yard and well, we got our peppers out. We got eggplants, more peppers. Can't remember what we're gonna put in these rows. But in here is the broccoli. Yeah, we, we caged them up to protect them from the stuff. And down there we have potatoes, nothing new about those. But yeah, we did just get our whole entire garden planted in one singular day. So have a good one, see you tomorrow.